Hello students, in the last part we discussed about uh, domains and ranges with respect to graphs. In this particular class I would like to tell you how to remember the domain and ranges of all the six inverse trigonometric functions in the easy manner. Okay, concentrate here. How to memorize these parts? It is very easy to understand. The first time will cover the domains. What are the domains? It is domain of sine inverse of x is minus 1 to plus 1. Okay. Again, which function is having the domain uh, minus 1 to plus 1? Yes, exactly. That is cos inverse of x is having the domain minus 1 to plus 1. And next, tan is having the domain. It is a real number system. And which is one more uh, inverse trigonometric function having the same domain that is cot inverse of x. Okay. Then in the next particular part and the second cosecant are left over that is also having the same that is real number system excluding excluding minus 1 to 1. Okay. Fine. And cosecant will be same r minus minus 1 to plus 1 means complete real number excluding minus 1 to plus 1. Whether you understood sin and sin inverse of x, cos inverse of x are having the same domain, tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x having the same domain, and second inverse and cosecant inverse are having the same domain. Okay. Now we need to uh, discuss about the ranges. Ranges of sin inverse of x is minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Okay. Okay, that is also a closed interval. Okay. After this one, what is the uh, reciprocal of sin x? Yes, yes, exactly. Sin x reciprocal is sin x reciprocal is cosec. In that manner, you, ne you need to remember this one. The range will be same. That is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 excluding 0 because cosec 0 will be indeterminate that's why we are writing like this okay then uh, one more term one more inverse trigonometric ratio is having the same range but in a little bit different manner that is tan it is also minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 it's an open interval why it should be an open interval by, because tan of pi by 2 is indeterminate tan of minus pi by 2 is minus interval that's why it is an open interval and points are excluded then the next one will be cos inverse of x uh, second inverse of x, cot inverse of x. It is very easy to remember. It is cos will be 0 to pi. 0 to pi. Reciprocal of cos, sec. That's why it is also 0 to pi. Okay, na? 0 to pi. Excluding what? Excluding pi by 2. Okay. Cot inverse of x is also having a 0 to pi. But endpoints are excluded. That's why it is an open interval. Got the point clearly? Fine, you need to note down it, okay?